So Jessica, this is the final result. Wow, I can't believe you did this so fast. <laughs> Hi, are you Jessica? I'm Eric Garcia. I'm an interior designer, and I'm going to update Jessica's tiny living room in just a few hours. Are you Eric? Hi, I'm Jess Harris, and this is my living room. As you can see, it needs a little bit of love. It's a New York apartment. It's small, as you can see, very narrow. We really need storage and to use the space much smarter. We have lots of books, but they feel really cramped. We need a working space because both of us work from home. So we're excited just to use new storage and find a new configuration for the room. It's nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you. I'm so excited to see your place. Wow, Jessica. I love this. <laughs> Do you? It's much smaller than I thought. It's pretty narrow. <laughs> I mean, it's a weird, it's a hard room for that reason. So what are the major things that you want to change that aren't working for you? Having a place for everything is really important. Like storage? Storage. We have lots of books stacked everywhere. Okay. And so it's just having a place for that stuff. Yeah. Seating, how are you feeling about that? I see the sofa here. Uh, is you and your partner X, like you guys are sitting here. Anyone else that comes over a lot or? Sometimes. I mean, he works from home in this room. I'll work from the other side, but sometimes I'll come and sit on the couch and even in the middle of the day. You know? <laughs> You're like, hi, I'm here. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit, actually. And you're like, hi, I'm here again. And he's like, I'm working. So. Oh, no. <laughs> I love your sofa, so let's keep it. I think the color is perfect. And, uh, it's a good you... sofa. Cool. Yeah. So maybe we move the desk on this side, shift the sofa over a little bit. Oh, wow. So that when I'm walking into the space, you don't want them to see your desk right away because it feels true. a little like... Uh, if you're messy, that's not what I want to see when I walk in. Yeah. So if, I feel like if we shift that onto this side, all of a sudden mm. now you're walking in. I don't want my energy to be drawn to there. Yeah. I want it to be drawn to uh, like that beautiful window in the back and that beautiful totally. room that you have. I like the desk situation here and I see that you guys mm -hmm. are kind of, is this your workstation? So we'll switch off okay. a little bit, but my partner will usually work here during the day. And then sometimes I'll work here on the weekend if I'm doing something else or. I see like your desk chair. I love that chair. Love Is that, that something chair. that you want to keep or I definitely, update? definitely, definitely want to keep the chair. Okay. So I think the major things that we're going to work on is definitely going to be storage. Cause I kept, yes. I kept hearing that word coming up. <laughs> so storage, and then it's going to be uh, seating, kind of rearranging the flow of the space. Yep. And then we'll just curate. I'm down with that. So we have a lot to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And we only have like two and a half hours to do it. Oh so God. I have to run and start getting everything ready. Okay. We're gonna do magic in here. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna move the desk over to the window because I feel like having that natural light hitting the workspace is gonna promote productivity. And I think it's always nice to just be sitting somewhere where you get natural light. We're replacing the desk just cause I feel like she already loves a new desk chair. She loves a sofa. This is one piece that I don't think she was really connecting to. So we wanna make sure that she has something that she just feels comfortable working on and is something that, again, it's just speaking to the new energy in the room that we're trying to create. I want to move the sofa over on this side because it's going to open up the space a little bit more. Yeah. Shifting the TV over, then you create a nice little seating area here. You'll have your work area there. And then when you walk into the space, you're not seeing the desk right away. I love using painter's tape to plan out the area so that before you're going out and purchasing anything, it's so easy to just take dimensions, tape it down, and make sure that the rug is gonna fit and that it looks good before you go out and buy anything. So this rug example here that we're laying down is too small for the space and it doesn't work with the sofa and it's actually making the space feel smaller and the intention here is to make the space feel open so introducing a larger rug is going to just open up the entire space. We are putting in a rug that is going to play with scale. Anytime you have pattern that kind of feels a little bit oversized in a smaller space, it just makes the space feel a little bit bigger. The way that I usually 
tend to go about it is leaving some negative space is important. I still want to see the floor. I don't want to cover the entire room because then it feels like you almost ran out of money and you were trying to go with like wall to wall and it just feels awkward. So we want to make sure that we are still seeing some negative space from the floor coming through and then playing with pattern and print and something bold is just going to make the space feel even bigger. Perfect. The wall feels a little naked, so we want to make sure that there's a hero piece that when you walk into the space you're seeing. So we're adding a console because she storage was really important for her. So we wanted to make sure that she can not only hide all of the stuff that she doesn't want to show, it's a great place to put like remote controls and all of your TV boxes and things like that that no one really wants to see. And then it just also adds another element to the space. taking down the shelves to create longer surface area. So we are gonna keep shelves. We're just making them a little bit longer to give us more surface and just clean up a little bit of what she already had, just making it feel a little bit more updated and elevated. The horizontal shelves are, is gonna give us more of a surface space. Anytime that we can utilize the wall space, we wanna make sure that we're taking as much real estate on the wall and not on the floor. I love introducing plants into any space, and especially in smaller spaces, because for example, if we are moving the desk over by the wall, I think plants are great to just suck up all that like electrical currents that happen. I feel like plants really kind of absorb all that, and it really just adds that indoor-outdoor feel. I want her to come in here and still feel like it's open and fresh, and just have that nice connection to the outdoors. It's intimidating to add a tall plant, but when you start seeing kind of the levels that everything play in a room, it's always about your eye traveling and not just being stagnant in one level. You should always have height and create that visual interest that tall tree next to the lower desk is gonna really add a nice frame to that entire wall. We're gonna add drapes to these doors here. The room is so rectangular and linear that when you walk into the space, I think it's gonna soften up the whole wall. And she has such natural, beautiful window and light coming through that once you add the drapes, it's just gonna create a nice little frame that's almost a focal point so that your eye travels across the room and you're almost wondering like what's behind that door. <laughs> We're adding a lamp because I think it's important to have directional lighting, not just have light come from above. It's nice to create little mood moments that maybe during the night when you're kind of winding down, you just have the floor lamp on and it just creates a nice little ambiance that just feels nice and moody and kind of overall calm. It's a nice option to have after like 6 p.m. when the skylight's all gone. So you just want to create a nice little directional lighting. Yeah, I think we're good. I like it. Okay. So Jessica, this is the final result. Wow, this is amazing. I can't believe you did this so fast. <laughs> you know, the biggest thing is that I can't believe how different it feels in here. It really does, it's, right? It's just a completely different room from, you know, incorporating things from the other rooms that I've had for years yeah. and just didn't know where to put it. Even the pillows. Yeah. I would have never chose the, a neutral color, pillow, right? Because you know, I know you love bold and I know you love pattern, but we did that with the rug. It kind of still yeah. feels a little bit like there's a pop of color print, 
but then you can change those out later on. Like exactly. when you get tired of that, maybe you do want color, <laughs> you switch them out yeah. really easy and inexpensive and it just changes up the vibe again. Yeah, and the lighting is also so different than what it was before. Right. So like, it's nice to have another corner and that spread has some the light. light. Once, you know, the sun goes down and the skylight no oh, longer. I'm excited for that. I can't wait <laughs> yeah. for you to enjoy that. We added a lot of storage for you here, so yeah. you helped me move it. It was a beast, but we got it done. <laughs> it's heavy. And now you have all this extra storage down here where you can put in all the things that you don't want to be seen, like yeah. the remotes and all that stuff. And then you get some more uh, surfaces for books. I love it. So that storage there. And then behind, we did another storage unit here with... Uh, a file cabinet where you can put all of your paperwork and yep. other kind of more personal stuff. And then for the desk area, we shifted it over, which I, th what do you think? Do you, are you liking the vibe it, on this side or? I, I think it looks really nice. I mean, it, it's interesting because I just didn't think that it would be, it would be too much when I walked in the room. Right. But it's actually the opposite. So I walk in the room, it feels really homey and it's fine that, and you forget we're, that. Also <laughs> we're also working. We're also working. And that was the goal of it, to kind of walk in and just focus on the beauty of that end of the room. Yeah. And then no one wants to see like the work area, yeah. workstation, you don't want to see it either. I'm sure at the I, end yeah. of the day. <laughs> What's incredible is the drapes. Yeah. Because I would have never thought to do something like that, right. but it does really change the whole energy of the room. We talked about adding more surface, yep. so I think we did really well with like curating all of your special pieces, like yeah. just little moments that you can talk to your friends about and just totally. kind of tell that story where every piece came from. Every piece is somewhere, you know, like local artists, like this one from Feliz and exactly. from trips to different places. That's my grandfather's camera. Camera, so I love that. It's, See, it's just really fun. It's yeah. all intention. Everything has a purpose. This is really a great job. I, I can't believe you only did this in such a short amount of time. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun and um, good times in I'm this room. I'm so excited for you guys. Great I job. think it's gonna be a great Thank space you. for both of you. So you're very welcome. <laughs> and now it's time for you to enjoy it. I'm. Well, we can enjoy it. Okay, let's enjoy let's it together. Have some wine. <laughs> Eric did such a great job. I can't believe how different this room looks in such a short amount of time. So I'm really grateful for the experience and this was really fun. I'm excited to be here.